just feel the Lord wanted to admonish us or encourage us, actually. Um, Psalm 41, verse 12 says, As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. The song previous to this, we were singing about his face. And it reminded me of the scripture the Lord gave me yesterday, this one. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. God has this. And I just feel like God wants to encourage us. He has made you to walk in integrity. His integrity. Not yours. Not mine. It's the integrity of the Lord that he wants us to walk in. And, and I'll give you a little hint at how he gave that to us. If you read John 17, there's two places in there where he talks about how he gave us his glory. His glory was given to us in chapter 17 of John, verse 23. And the glory which you gave me, Jesus said, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me that they may be made perfect in one so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. There's one more place and I want to read, but before I do, it's the love of God through Jesus Christ that is integral. It's integral. It's the structure inside of our lives now. As believers in Christ, you have integrity. And you can stand up with integrity because not because you have done perfect things or you've performed or you've done this great deed for God, but because God has done this great deed for you and I. We no longer have to depend upon the works of the law or the works of the flesh because it will not suffice. It's not enough to stand before God, but we can stand before him for his face because he upholds us with his integrity. And then the next verse is in verse, uh, I'll just keep reading. Verse 24, Father, I desire that they also whom you, have, you gave me be with me where I am. And here it is. That they may behold my glory, which you have given me. For you have loved me before the foundation of the world, O righteous Father. And, it, you know, the glory there, the definition, which I've told you this many times, is God's opinion. It is literally, the definition is God's opinion, God's most glorious, exalted state or condition. And he's given that to you and me. Stop looking at yourselves. This is turning into an admonition, I feel. And it's good for us to stop looking at ourselves and our insecurities and our shortcomings and our failures and start looking at his glory that he's put within you and me. Forgive yourself. I believe there's some people here this morning, maybe not all of us, we need to forgive ourselves. Forgive ourselves because there's grace and there's the power of an anointing of Holy Spirit that can give us integrity to stand before his face and behold his eyes like eyes of fire and we can let them beam down upon us and we can have victory and we can have power and we can have his glory riding upon us resting upon us resting within us and then coming out of us, exuding out of us like Moses. He came off the mountain and, and the glory of God was shining on his face. Phil was talking about studying light waves and different things like that. And I watched a YouTube, just came across it on light. Light. Light shows that Jesus holds all things together. When they do these studies, and I'm I'm trying to remember the word for it. Um, it's these things that happen in the small things that we can't see with our eyes, but they're beginning to find out. What's the word for that? Quantum physics. Quantum physics are beginning to show that there is something behind the universe. Because when they begin to like show lights between you know, the slits of a card 
it shows waves instead of just rays. And not just raves, it's, 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 it's um, Einstein said it. I can't come up with it now, but I'll give it to you later. But there's, there's particles and there's waves together. That's right. And, and, and it behaves differently when you observe it. When you begin to test it and observe it, it behaves differently than if it would normally behave. So there's a reaction all around us in the light waves that we see, and there's so many waves that we don't see. You go into, you get x-rays, gamma rays. Gamma rays, I think, are the finest ones we know about, the most, the highest frequencies. And it's so amazing because in, in Christ, all things consist or hold together. And he's holding you together. It's the enemy. It's darkness that wants to come in and steal the light in your life. And God wants the light of you to be the light of the world. In order to do that, you've got to let his light shine in your heart. Behold his face. Behold him in his presence. Just with music, without music. It doesn't matter. Music is a form of frequency. It's a form of light. What she's playing here is, is bringing you into a place where you're open, your mind and you can, can connect with your heart. You realize your heart is the center of your being? Your soul, your body, everything's all connected through your heart. And he's after your heart, my heart. He's after everyone's heart. In the heart, man believes unto righteousness with the mouth confessions made. But with the heart you believe. Are we believing that he has this? He's in control. He has the answers. It doesn't matter what's coming against you. It doesn't matter what infirmity you're experiencing right now. Or what, what kind of mind battle you're in. If you look into his face, into his eyes by faith, you can be upheld by his integrity. And the glory of God will rest upon you. That's powerful. Powerful. Can we sing that again, Holly? Let's just let the glory of God come and fill our hearts and our minds, our bodies even, our whole person with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. He is worthy of it all. Let's just adore him.